today's episode, we're joined with Crater Hunter, Sherlin, and the Sea Explorers. We explore three different dive sites, and each one blew our mind. So stick out until the end of the video to see what we found. Good morning. Good morning. We got a gloomy day. Hey, it's okay. But every day is a dive day. Yeah. That is a good day. Even though it's been raining for the last one and a half, two days, this is the flattest we've seen the ocean so far. That is super flat. By the way, guys, I don't think I've talked about this yet, but this is such a unique beach here in the Philippines. It is a brown gold dish. So if you pick up the sand here, and if it's a sunny day, it is glowing a little bit. So we like to call it golden brown sand in this particular area of Dawin. A very unique color here in the Philippines. And perhaps that's why this is such a unique dive site. Why there's such rich biodiversity. Loading onto the boat, diving the Sea Explorers today. It's gonna be a drift dive. Hot steam coming from the ground, very unique one. Maybe schools of Barracuda, we'll see. Bring out the macro lens and a GoPro just in case we have to do some wide shots. So you've never dove here before? No, not this, not the first dive. The second one. The second one, yeah, I saw my first flamboyant cuttlefish there. Oh boy. I mean, we already ticked off five of the top ten. We already did eight dives or ten? Eight dives. <laughs> and you already crossed half the stuff off. <laughs> ah, guapo. Uh, Guapos! Uh, are you, you're familiar? Yeah. You're, you're Finn? Finn, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you guys. You're nice from Darwin? Can I selfie with you? Yeah, of course. Where are you guys from? Dumaguete? Bacolod. No, no, Bacolod. I love Bacolod. It's good to be back in the water as I have been dealing with some ear problem lately and on this dive, I was ready to practice with my camera. This dive has a very strange monkey bottom and in between weird, exciting things to look at. Under a rock was a beautiful sleeping turtle that I decided to leave alone to continue its beauty sleep. Surprisingly, there was a lot of reef life, but then in a deep blue, a skull of barracuda passed by. Wow! And at the end of the dive, I saw my first white ornate ghost pie fish. So majestic! But wait until you see what Finn got through his lens. Out of all the dive side in Dawan, this might have been the strangest bottom or seafloor we've seen so far. I guess this could be the definition of a maki because you really don't see that much sand. This is more like a constructions of mud, sand, uh, things that all the critters and small insects have been building as uh, some sort of a cityscape for their environment. And the first critter we spot is this fall stonefish. I really like this one because his skin, his texture is pure white, something I haven't seen before tiny little guy. On the dive there were loads of nudies and sea slugs and I believe this one is a dragon nudie. He was basically slithering around, crawling the ocean floor, searching for something I guess. Another first one for me. And you can sort of see what I was talking about that the ocean floor is kind of constructed like a city for these animals because once you zoom in you're able to see all these small animals. Everything from the skeleton shrimps to parasite looking creatures that probably not many of us know what are. And I just chilled there hovering in the sand watching this guy slithering his way in life. 
And with the super zoom macro lens on, you can really see how crazy looking the seafloor is. Creatures everywhere. Looking from the top, you don't see any of this. Like this guy, he's almost like a parasite when you look through a microscope or something, but he's just one of these creatures floating around there. And in this shot, I found it hilarious how he decided to go the other way or turning around. Maybe he's wondering, which way should I go? That way? This way? No, I'll just take a 180 degree tumble. <laughs> Why does he do that? In the last few dives, we have seen so many pipe fishes, but this one was my favorite. Not every day you're gonna see a white ornate ghost pipe fish. He is by far the most beautiful pipe fish I've ever seen. I love his color, his texture. He blends perfectly in with his environment, a white sea fan. And as I was filming him, I was wondering about my last diving video where we talk about the marine biology and what we're able to document and how we are participating in studying them, so to speaking. And one of the most important studies is of course finding them. Second one would probably to document their behaviors. I always thought these guys would feed off the seafloor or the bottom, but we got a shot of him here catching something in the drift. So that was the first time I've ever seen a feed off the current. I got the shot filming in 120 frames per second, which is basically a four times slow motion from the real time. And if you slow it even further down, it's even really hard to see him striking his prey or whatever drifted towards him. So you can only imagine how fast these guys are catching their prey. Love that shot. And here you can see him breathing. Look at those gills just on the left side of his eye. That's how they breathe and it's kind of transparent. Normally fishes have something covering or protecting that area. Maybe there is a transparent layer over it. Who knows, but I thought that was a cool shot as well. Usually when you go scuba diving, you look forward to see all the colors and the variety of things. But on this dive, I kept laughing. For example, with this neuter prank, you have a skeleton shrimp hitchhiking or, you know, just pissing him off. Who knows? So I was filming these guys kind of laughing. However, his friend Steve was a bit unlucky. He kind of drifted away. And some of the funniest guys are... Once again, the skeleton shrimps. <laughs> Their behavior is so funny. Normally you'll see them trying to catch a food in the current, but when they're not doing that, they're, it's almost like they're socializing and uh, they feel like they take it a bit extreme, punching each other, irritating each other. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Look at that, punching him, boom. <laughs> Remember the white ornate ghost pipefish? Here's his buddy, robust ghost pipefish. They come from a similar family, but these ones are not spiky. They look like leaves. The brownish one are common on the mucky bottom. Always fun to see these guys. And at the end of the dive, we got into our reefy area. It's not huge like we usually see in Cebu, but the amount of fish and sea life around it, that was impressive. Oh man, what a dive, but I also want to say this boat is so nice because we can put our camera straight into fresh water, rinse out the salt, so important after each dive. But wow, what a dive because we spoke at the beginning of the dive that we're going to be seeing those geothermal hot springs bubbles. coming up, bubbles. We didn't even reach it. <laughs> and that's the beauty of diving. Even though we have a goal of seeing something, 
we will of course stop and film and document something you know we're seeing that yeah, was we're right not disappointed in front. at all absolutely not and again the guys are saying it's kind of mediocre to eyesight, but yet again, we still I saw at least five things I've never seen before. I, I didn't even want to go here. I was like, man, there's too much drift and wide angle. All right, let's go try it. And I want to try every dive site with you. And then I've never seen a, a white <laughs> or late ghost pipe fish like that. Oh, so beautiful. Boy. <laughs> Oh my god! Wait, wait, stay here! Yes, it is his mouth! I think... Huh? You're a fish, Jake! Always starts with the head! Oh, yeah, man! 43 now! Then... 44... Oh, the person thinks You like the fish, Jake? Here we are on our second dive of the day on a dive site called Talisai. And lo and behold, one of the first things we see is the iconic flamboyant cuttlefish. One of my all time high bucket list creatures to see in the Philippines. And my very first one. I always thought these guys were absolutely tiny, but this one was gigantic. Scientifically, they say they grow up to six to eight centimeters. However, this one, I believe was at least 10 centimeter long. As a cuttlefish, we know they can change colors and adapt to the environment, but this one has a lot more different characteristics that not all cuttlefishes have. Such as, they prefer to walk instead of swimming. But my favorite part about them has to be the vibrant, purplish, magenta looking color, and the freaky looking patterns on their back, morphing between colors up and down. Something you don't see every day. I absolutely love these guys. Another one crossed off the list and the reason we stopped filming him is because all of our guides from sea explorers they kept ringing their bells and uh, normally when they do that they found something cool so we moved on to the next subject so all I could think of if they're ringing their bells it must be something better than flamboyant cuttlefish which is hard to top but the main thing they were calling us to check out were the frog fishes First one, a common orange frogfish, but then we saw a couple of cool different ones. At first sight, we thought this was the ultimate bucket list one, the hairy frogfish, but it's not. It's actually a frogfish that we couldn't even name. Me and Justin, we made a post on Facebook in a frogfish community and we couldn't get an identification on him. So maybe you guys know, comment below. But this one is apparently quite rare here in Darwin. And the third one, a painted frogfish. I've seen this one before in Allegria. It's always fun to film the frogfishes because they're of course very colorful, kind of rare 
and their behaviors, and how they walk around instead of swimming, quite hilarious. And of course, here we have the green robust ghost pipe fish. But the hardest thing I filmed on this dive was the hairy shrimp. These are by far the smallest critter I have ever filmed and captured on camera. I don't know how the guys found them, but they kept pointing at something and in the end, I managed to lock focus on them. And there you go, the hairy shrimp. In the diving community, this is one of the most sought after critters to capture on camera. And here we got it. Crazy dive. What's going on, Justin? <laughs> you're my lucky charm and you're coming with me every day. <laughs> I'm sorry to curse, but holy moly. Obviously, this was by far the best dive I've ever done. I think you're saying the same thing when we're getting up. So we had six, well, five or six guides <laughs> helping us find stuff. And it was just like, over here, over here, over here. And it wasn't just stuff. It was flamboyant cuttlefish. What, three or four frogfish? Uh, six robust ghost bite fish. At oh least. My God. So many nudibranchs as well. I found a bunch of them. But I saw neither one of first. You found it or Chris? Chris found it. <laughs> and I was like, ding, ding, ding. Oh, okay, forget it. I'll just take a video. I'm I think I'm even if you guys would not find it, I think someone was with because oh. it was so big. Dude. That was huge. And it's in the middle one. of the freaking sand in nothing. The white one that I'm showing to you. The white yeah, one, the what? Cage, the yeah, cage. the cage. Oh, yeah, 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 the frogfish. I thought you already saw it. Yeah, we saw it. We filmed that a lot. Woo! Yeah, I was waiting for him to finish with the flat boy, and I was like, frog, frog, frog. Oh, guys, like. <sighs> We Dude, take... I feel like we're making the stuff up. We only have four left on the top ten. <laughs> I feel like we're making this stuff up because it's insane how much stuff we've been finding since you got here. I mean, usually I'm just so chill and we find one or two things on each dive. But now, this is I can't crazy. believe how much was on that one dive. Yeah, normally when I'm scuba diving, I'm swimming and swimming and searching and searching. But now, it's just... We hear these bells, the guys, all the guys have like this making over sound. Here, here, yeah, here. look at them, we found something, we found something, we found something. And these are all like super rare things, man. And you these guys are this? awesome guys, just like Alex. They know what to not bother us with. Yeah, if they make a sound, it's a good one. We just ate lunch, we're going to the next dive, the third one today. You see the point over there, it's like a small sandy area sticking out. And that's where we found the wonder purse the other day. So we're only expecting the best compared to what we've been seeing. Right? Just kidding. Well, we'll see how it goes then. Uh, let's just dow in a nutshell. We've been finding the very best and only have a few things left off the crater list. So we'll see what we find. Oh, and by the way, there's no buoy. So uh, we have to jump in while the boat is mowing, which is fine. We just hope there's not much current. For the third dive of the day, and you think we couldn't top off what we've seen so far? Well, we found another wonder puss. between this dive and the previous video I made about them we're able to film this one 
way longer. He just kept swimming around the bottom, searching for food, and luckily I captured him catching a prey. We're not sure what he actually captured, but I believe it's a shrimp considering how much they're twisting and rotating with his tentacles so perhaps it was a quite big shrimp All in all, this was by far the best scuba diving day I've ever done in my life and it's gonna be very hard to top it. And the more we dive and explore the ocean, we're always trying to improve as well. So hopefully in the future we're able to document some behaviors as well, perhaps discovering some new creatures down there.